Hello everybody, my name is Sandy and I am a German girl in London. I've lived here for over 10 years of my life and I normally run the travel YouTube channel Sandy Makes Sense and today I'm making sense as an EF guest vlogger to show you my favourite viewpoints in beautiful London. And we are starting with Monument. Monument was originally built to remember the Great Fire of London and it has exactly 311 steps to the tiny viewing platform but trust me it is worth the steps. There is no lift of course, it's far too small but once you're at the top you will get a very unique 360 view of London and not a lot of tourists and not a lot of Londoners know about this place so it's kind of a hidden secret. Did you even know there was a cable car in London? I didn't. I'd been living here for about eight years of my life and that was the moment I discovered it, but it does exist. In East London, there is a cable car which you can enter for tube fare. So it's super cheap and it will provide you with unique views of the O2 arena and the Thames. And if you time it right for sunset, it might have a touch of romance as well. Primrose Hill is very famous for all the right reasons. Skyline views from North London, you will see the Shard, you will see the Londoner, you will see Big Ben, you will see it all from a beautiful hill close to Camden Town. And for me, it is perfectly combined with a picnic with friends or with a visit to one of the super cute afternoon tea cafes that are around the area. Next, let's talk about the Sky Garden. The Sky Garden really is a garden in the sky. And the best news is it's completely free to visit. All you have to do is book quite far in advance, so be organized. But if you go in time for sunset and you have a clear sky, this might well be your favorite London memory ever. Now, if you're feeling fancy, I've got something for you. Go and visit Madison. Madison is one of London's number one iconic chic restaurants that offers the view of St. Paul's Cathedral. You have seen it, you know which view I mean, and you will only get that at Madison. Even when you're going up in the lift, that is already worth a view. And it is, you know, slightly on the pricier side. So like I said, this would be a very chic night out for you and your friends if you're feeling fancy. The River Thames is very, very famous, yes, and you might think this is obvious, but trust me, it's often underrated. The view is not from above, but it still counts as an amazing viewpoint because you're seeing all the famous buildings sliding by whilst you're on a cruise, a river tour, or anything similar, a ferry, there's lots of options. I mean, even this view from the Shard or the Tower Bridge kind of going underneath is impressive, and I mean, it was very grey and rainy the day I filmed it. Classic London. Now let's travel away from central London to a place that not many tourists know. This is Peckham. So Peckham is very cool and very trendy. If you're very cool and trendy, you will feel at home there. And if not, you also will. Basically, there is a place called Forza Wine and a place called Peckham Levels. Both of them offer skyline views from South London. So something you don't see on the postcards, something you don't see on the pictures that everybody takes. Super, super unique. And for me, best combined with some food from the amazing street food vendors that are in Peckham Levels. And yes, I have not forgotten the Shard. I obviously need to include the view from the Shard in this video. It will make you weak in the knees. The Shard is the third highest building in Europe as I'm filming this video and it is amazing. Everything else will seem really, really far away. And yes, you have to pay £25 to go up there, but it will be worth it. And I say, why not plan this for your last day in London? You will not regret it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you found some useful tips for your London agenda when you're coming over here. Check out my channel as well, Sandy Makes Sense, for more London and travel tips and who knows, maybe we'll see each other on the streets of London at some point. Bye-bye.